Okay, joy of quilted here. We are starting our log carbon block sample this morning. If you've got a quarter of an inch foot for your machine, please use it. If not, you can put a piece of tape down to guide you on the quarter of an inch. Using our strips that we cut last week, this is my lighter one. I'm putting down the two inch square that we cut and stitch the quarter of an inch seam onto that. Then we go to the cutting board and we're going to cut the edges off the, the centre using a straight line. Cut the one side off, slide it across, or turn it round using the centre, uh, using the solid line. Cut the other side. Next, we're going to press it. I use a travel iron and I use it dry. We set the seams by pressing over my stitching and then press it open, press it away from the centre, okay, and back to the sewing machine. Okay, we put in the second strip on now, the same colour, still using my light. If you note, notice, I put a little stitch on my centre block, just to remind me which is my centre one, because lots of beginners get mixed up over which is their centre block once they start putting it together. If you put a stitch in, it's just a, a visual reminder. So again, right sides together, the other one on top of the other, with your seam coming downwards, you will stitch. That's it. Back to the cutting board. And now we cut in the second strip. Again, solid line. Make sure you're straight. Trim off the edge. Solid line, make sure you're straight. Trim off the other edge. Then press in. Okay. Press to set the seams, turn it over so that the centre block is on the bottom and then press your seam out from the centre and back to the sewing machine. Okay, we've done two light strips, we're going to start with two dark strips. So we put strip one, strip two, third one goes on next, right side together. Okay. And stitch. And back to the cutting board. And ready to trim off again. Solid line across the top, straight line, and trim the excess away. Solid line across the top, trim the excess away. Onto the Pressing, press to set the seams, turn it over, press again, press away from your centre block and back to the sewing machine. This is often where people go a bit wrong because they start thinking that's their centre block and they start joining there. That's why this little visual reminder, you've got to cover all four corners, all four sides. We're going to put these right sides together and stitch it down. We've now got two seams on this block, so one will always be going up to ease it through, and the other will be going down. That's one complete round, and back to the cutting board. And ready to trim off again. So we're getting it now, solid line, straight across the top. Trim, turn around, solid line across the top, edge it to the edge, and trim. Okay. Now to press, 
press the set the seams, turn it over, and press the whole thing away from the centre. Now you've gone completely around your centre square. From here on in, it's a lot easier because the next piece is going to go on this side. And it's always the one with two seams. There'll be one seam on that side, one seam on that side, no seams there, and two on this one. And that's two seams is where the next piece goes. So my next piece would be a light. And I'd be putting it on this side, fetching it back like that. And you continue around, too light, too dark, too light, until it's as big as you wish it to be. Here's a block I've completed, just for you to see. So that's your basic log cabin. little sample to help you how remember how to do log cabin. Next Monday, we'll be doing courthouse steps.